Richard was a businessman who usually got up before daylight to start work. Eventually, he had enough money to buy everything he wanted, including a big house and a swimming pool. But then, in his 60s, he ended up having a quadruple bypass, realizing that life was short. He sold his business, he retired, and he got remarried. At first, he did a little traveling with his new bride. But soon after, he was spending every day in his easy chair, just about every day, and he was watching TV. Eventually, his health started deteriorating, and he realized he was running out of money. So he put a reverse mortgage on his home. When he died at 76, his assets were nearly depleted, and he'd even sold his burial plot. That was my dad's experience in retirement. I'm Paula Marie. Welcome to Boomer Best You. While retirement looks a lot different for people today than it did when my dad retired, there are some lessons we can learn from his experience. But first, the good news. Today, people are living in retirement 20 or even 30 years. That's great, and typically women live longer. But the not so good news is those extra bonus years come with a hefty price. Typically 76 to 80 percent of boomers, at least according to some research, realize they didn't save enough money for retirement. And unless you're one of those few people who have a good pension, most of us need to make sure that we have a good financial plan, plan to work, or both. Now, just as important as your financial plan, knowing what you want in retirement, what you want your life to look like is just as important. Many people don't plan for the lifestyle they want. And even though we don't plan to spend our years in an easy chair, that can happen if you don't live a healthy life ahead of time and you don't plan and have a sense of purpose when you do retire. What do you want your encore life to look like? Even if there's years before you actually retire, you have all that time ahead of you, it's not too early to start planning. I've provided a link below this video that has an, this article and some resources that you can use to help get you started. Thanks for joining me today and have a great week.